All right, everyone. So today we're going to be making a prosperity and wealth candle. So what I'm going to do is with my mortar and pestle here, I'm going to be grinding up just a bit of ginger root, a pinch of uh, Egyptian basil, and some rose hips. Now I'm just going to be using a little bit of each of these things because it's just going to go in the very top of this candle and I'm going to be using my mortar and pestle to grind that up first and foremost. As you can see, we just have a little bit of ginger root up top, um, a little piece of rose hip to the left, and a little bit of Egyptian basil. Once again, these are actually, first and foremost, these are by Alicia's Creations. Uh, you can buy a set of about 25 of these uh, spell herbs on Amazon or wherever you can get Lisa's Creations herbs. I'm going to go ahead and grind this up. Now that those are ground up pretty good into a fine little powder here, I'm using a stick of frankincense. Um, that is already lit, already burning, already in the air. And I have made one hole on one side of the candle. And, once, and these, this is just a regular seven day candle that you can buy at like probably a Walmart or a Tom Thumb or a Kroger. And it's probably about a dollar or two. And this is a green one. Green is usually, um, it's for health and prosperity. And usually for wealth and money, you want yellow, but I'm using this for a kind of wealth and prosperity. So I made these two holes so that I can um, put uh, some of this fast like oil and kind of like drip it into those two holes and maybe do another couple drops on the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and do that after I kind of run this frankincense incense around. And just sanctifying it. Put a little bit of ash in there. Just a little bit of frankincense ash. Frankincense kind of raises the vibration uh, and it kind of purifies the space. You can do any kind of prayer or mantra that you want over this. I'm just going to be combining ingredients right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the oil. This Fast Luck oil is by um, Art of the Root. You can also find it on Amazon or wherever Art of the Root is sold. Fast luck oil, I don't use it as much as Crown of Success, but it's very potent for adding a little bit of extra punch to a number of different things. I'm just gonna put one drop kind of around, or maybe more than one at this point, some drops around both those holes, let it sit. Um, I'm gonna kinda also, since I put a lot of oil in there, I'm gonna let it run around. Kinda let it smooth around the surface. Next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add two pennies to both transfer the energy from myself into the copper and into this candle. And then add some extra vibrancy to the copper. Pennies are used for a wide variety of spiritual purposes and uh, they can be used as can candles as well. Just make sure not to have any too big pieces or you don't want a whole bunch of pennies in there, otherwise the candle's not gonna burn. Now we're going to uh, sprinkle in um, uh, some garnet stones to kind of balance out the energy in general. Garnet's good for balancing and positivity. Just a little sprinkle of stones. You don't need a whole lot, just a few. Now we're going to sprinkle in some of this uh, ginger root, rose hip, and basil. Just kind of like sprinkle it into the candle. A little liberal sprinkle. You, once again, it has to be it has to be a uh, kind of ground down in a mortar and pestle. Pretty fine. I'm just getting this stuff everywhere. So that, uh, you know, there's not a lot of big pieces and it can be sprinkled about pretty liberally. Just like that. So for this next part, I've had this, um, this uh, Daga's um, rune on parchment on my wall for quite some time. I've been empowering it by looking at it as I go in and out for quite some time. I'm gonna place this under the candle Put this, place the candle on top, light the candle, and then once the candle is burned down after a number of days, I'm actually going to burn this and kind of cast the uh, the whole spell all together. You don't have to add something like this, but I'm adding this so that there's Dagaz is the uh, is the Elder Futhark rune of breakthrough and day. Uh, it's very appropriate for a wealth and prosperity um, candle spell. May I be prosperous and wealthy, so mote it be. So mote it be.
Somo to be. Matches are very important to use in magic rather than lighters or grill lighters. Eco-friendly ones are even better. So this is just gonna sit and burn here for a while. And it's gonna, after a number of days, I'm going to discard the candle sheath that is glass and burn this parchment. At any rate, that's how it's done. Thank you very much for watching and all of you have a wonderful day.